welcome to the weekend edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, and I'm here to bring you all the latest news in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. It's Friday, July 31st, 2015, and let's get to it. We at Muscle in the Morning would like to ask you to send thoughts and prayers to 212 Pro Bodybuilder Vito Abispor, whose health appears to be taking a turn for the worse. After undergoing intestinal surgery earlier this year for an unknown immune disorder, Abispor was recently diagnosed with a rare vasculitis, which currently has no known cause or cure. According to friend and confidant Dennis James, Abispor's battles with repeated hospitalization have taken a financial toll on both he and his family. During these dark hours, Abispor and his loved ones can certainly use whatever little bit of support the bodybuilding community can give to him. Please give generously. We're just about a week out from the IFBB Tampa Pro, where the bodybuilding world will get its first look at the future of the figure division, when 19-year-old prodigy Shanique Grant takes the pro stage for the very first time. Grant is one of the most structurally gifted athletes in the entire figure division already, and when we factor in the level of crisp brown muscle that oozes from her frame, we have what could be the heir apparent to Nicole Wilkins' throne. Should Grant manage to win her pro debut, it should set off a firestorm of chatter heading into Olympia weekend. It looks like the 212 athletes better prepare for battle because Charles the Tank Dixon is planning to bring some heavy artillery to the stage come September. Earlier this week, new photos surfaced of an impressively huge looking Dixon, seven weeks out from making his second consecutive trip to the 212 Olympia. According to coach Trey Hodge, Dixon is currently sitting at a cool 225 pounds, and he's made some serious improvements since his big win at the St. Louis Pro earlier this year. Dixon has the sort of cartoonish round muscle that can present major problems for other competitors. And if he dials it in 100%, it's hard to imagine any scenario that doesn't end with the tank battling it out for a spot in the top six. Despite the fact that it's been nearly 40 years since their legendary back and forth banter in the bodybuilding cult classic film Pumping Iron, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Lou Ferrigno are still up to their old shenanigans. Last week, Arnold released a video on his Facebook page featuring Louie and he taking their comedy act on the road to an all too familiar place, the gym. Although Arnold and Louie have sailed their ship past the six decade mark many moons ago, the two both sport enviable physiques that can only be attributed to a lifetime of eating right and hardcore training. And in the immortal words of Lou's dad, Matty Ferrigno, show him your arms, Louie. They never seen arms like this. Arnold's got spaghetti arms. Look out, that's right, that's it. No, no, down here, Louis. I tell you, look at your arms, down oh. here. Look at both arms. Both arms. Right. That's it. boy. Good, now hold that pose, because remember, your arms are bigger than Arnold, and they want to see them, right? These people have never seen your arms, they've seen Arnold. So hold that pose a while, and I say, in this pose, just tilt your body a little, because there's people on this side of the theater, and there's people on this side of the theater, they want to see you. So just tilt your body just slightly, like this, right? Try that a little. Atta boy. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passion. And make sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.